Results. And here's uh, an announcement, very significant one as well. It's not results, but listen to this. It's to do with MediClinic, and MediClinic has come out with a SENS announcement today via the Stock Exchange News Service, of course. Comprehensive refinancing of the group's Swiss and SA debt, it says here, and notice of general meeting and a cautionary announcement. In the Joburg Power Lunch studio is Dani Menkes, who is the CEO of MediClinic. Let me have a look at this uh, now, because often, Dani, when you see these announcements, you see the share price coming down. The share price has done exactly the opposite to that so people like it because um, you're talking about a refinancing at a very very favorable rate I think it is and that is at a 25% discount to the stocks 30-day volume weighted average price and it's a rights offer what's the purpose behind this yes Lindsay good afternoon uh, I think as we announced this morning the refinancing was only due in October 2014 but the markets actually offered us a unique opportunity to actually lock in some value at this stage. If we look at the Swiss market, the debt market, which is at an all-time low, a very buoyant equity market in South Africa, our board actually approved that we refinance well ahead in time and lock in some of the benefits going forward. Extraordinary set of circumstances, isn't it? As you say, you've got the market going up and so your share price is, is buoyant and people are keen on your shares, obviously. And at the same time, you've got capital markets and borrowing costs worldwide, not just in South Africa at a 38-year low, but worldwide at almost 0% in many cases. So it was obviously a no-brainer for you. Absolutely. I think as you referred, the, the interest rates in Switzerland at this stage almost at zero. And if you look at the saving that we will achieve with this refinancing, in terms of the interest rates or in the interest cost, actually down 550 million per annum, which is significant. And that is, I believe, why the people are positive about the announcement. Yeah, I mean, apart from the fact that, you, that the refinancing offer was, 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 was there and, and your Treasury Department presumably identified the opportunity there, the fact is you also want to raise money to expand. Can you give us some more ideas about what that expansion might be? Yeah, as we announced and as we reported when we announced our annual results, we, there's a lot of opportunities in all three platforms where we operate, South Africa, United Arab Emirates and Switzerland. And with the overhang of the, of the refinancing out of the way, we will be flexible and in a very unique position to execute any opportunity that will come our way. I think people always ask, are there any specific opportunities to announce at this stage? The answer is no. But there are various opportunities that we evaluate. And given the new capital structure, we will be in a very flexible position to execute once the opportunities arise. Yeah, so you'll be ahead of the curve, so you'll have the money there available, ready to pull the trigger if something uh, should happen. Are, are you, has there any thoughts of you expanding beyond the current jurisdictions in which you operate, Donny? Not at this stage. We're evaluating. There are areas that we've visited and evaluated, but in the United Arab Emirates, as we said earlier, we are very bullish about expansion capacity and potential there. In Switzerland, as you most probably know, we acquired the Stefan's Horn Clinic a year or what ago, and we are very pleased with that investment. And with the consolidation taking place in the Swiss markets, opportunities might come our way, and we are comfortable that once they come our way, we can actually evaluate and execute if we can tick all the boxes. It's very interesting. I mean, you're obviously a South African company, but you go to Switzerland. Switzerland is a very conservative, almost a very well established and very stable European country and you've got this massive growth area of the United Arab Emirates and maybe even beyond you might be able to look to other uh, um, Middle Eastern uh, geographies. So all sorts of different um, geographies in which you operate. Uh, do, do you find that there are, are differences in the way you have to operate your businesses because of the differences between those uh, three areas? Absolutely. I think if you look at the business model, the South African model, is typically where the doctors are independent, they are associated, they visit the hospitals, make use of our facilities. If we look at the Dubai market or the UAE market, it is actually the opposite where we employ most of the doctors, we own radiology, we own pathology. So the, the operating model is completely different. And then Switzerland, almost in between, where we employ some of the doctors, but we also have the associated doctors working in our facilities. So yes, different challenges different uh, regulatory environments, but the core business is exactly the same. Okay, let's have a look at your shareholders now. Of course, there's one that stands out. It's called Remgro. I think, what have they got? 43.4%, uh, Donny? Correct. 
They will be following their rights, obviously. Yes, we are very lucky to have Remgro as the majority shareholder. And since the listing of the company, they always followed their rights. They traditionally had around 50% of the share capital. But with transactions for our BEE structures, they watered down to 43%. But they confirmed, and as in the announcement, they actually underwrote the uh, new capital that will be issued. Anyone that wants to get into uh, MediClinic shares and or existing MediClinic shareholders, just give us the semantics of, of the deal. What are you offering? Uh, in terms of the new capital? Yes. Yeah, the, rights offer. What, the, what rights, offer, the, the rights offer will be at a 25% discount to the 30-day VWAP trading up to yesterday. Uh, if I remember the numbers correctly, the final number will be 28.63 as the, as the price. And a full announcement has been done on Sense, and all shareholders will get the necessary documentation. The final date of trading or for the capital to flow will be, I think, the second week of October. Dani, thanks so much for making time this lunchtime on Power Lunch. That's Dani Menkes, who is the CEO of MediClinic, announcing a rights offer today. The share price is being bid up on the JSC Securities Exchange up 3%. So people really, really liking this one. It does, I must admit, sound like a very good short, medium and long-term prospect.